This is Joe Truncali, Integrations Engineer at Apprenda, and today I'll be showing you how to utilize Apprenda add-ons to consume Watson services, specifically Watson Conversation Service, to automatically inject a Watson chat into your .NET apps. First thing we're going to go ahead and do is go to the add-ons tab, and we're going to provision our Bluemix service. In this case, it's going to be our conversation service. So go ahead and set the alias as it will be known within Apprenda. And then we'll go ahead and give the conversation name. This is specific to Bluemix. There's a special Bluemix service name for each one of these services. So make sure to go check that beforehand. And then the service name that we'll name in Bluemix. All right. So we've gone ahead and provisioned that. We get two things as part of provisioning our add-on. We get our connection data, which is our credentials and URL, um, and an instance token. If you were using this in a different way, um, you could use it so that the instance token is automatically swapped with those connection details. But in this case, we actually are going to use uh, a different way to ingest the service. In this case, it's called the Watson Conversation add-on. And before we go ahead and start provisioning the API, we're going to go and take a look at where you can find this information. So if you head on over to the Bluemix site, you can take a look at your provisioned Watson conversation that we did in the previous step. You click on service credentials, and then you can actually view the credentials for your Watson conversation service. These are going to be needed during the next step. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and launch our workspace editor. And depending on which conversation you're going to be using, you can click on that workspace, view details, and then you can go ahead and get that workspace ID. So let's get started provisioning. First we'll need our instance alias. This is actually how your API is going to be known within Apprenda. And then from there we've got the other things we took a look at, like the workspace ID, conversation, username, and password. Those were from the previous step. Uh, and then the application name and alias can be the same as your instance alias. You can go ahead and follow our tutorial if you want more information on where to find these details. So this is actually provisioning a Watson Conversation API in Apprenda, which is specific to the suit conversation service that we specified earlier. Let's go ahead and create our application. Give it an application name, an alias. Then we go ahead and specify the archive that we want to upload and deploy and hit save. So this is going to create an application definition. That's the first step to deploying an application in Apprenda. No different for when you're consuming a Watson service. So we'll go from here and we'll promote to sandboxed just to take a look at what this application would be like on its own. So we'll click on Dashboard, and then we go and launch our site. If you take a look, this is just our uh, normal e-commerce site. Uh, in this case, it's our Suit app. And now we can go back in Apprenda, and we're going to make some changes to this app. So the only thing you have to do as a developer is add this Watson chat identifier. Along with that, you enter the alias of the, of the API that you provisioned earlier. For us, it's Watson Suit API. You save that, and you can repackage your app. And along with that, you're going to go to Configure, Components, and Deployment. And there, you're going to see a Watson Chat custom property. Just tick that to Yes, Save. Then we can go ahead to the Patch tab, select our new archive that we created. We're going to go ahead and select Sandbox, 
and save. Now that it's promoted, we can go back to our dashboard and we can launch our new app. And what you'll see in the bottom right corner is that Watson chat bar has been injected into the HTML of your website. Let's go ahead and do that again, but for a different app. We don't need to provision another Bluemix service, since a service can hold multiple workflows for Watson Conversation. The only thing we do need is a separate Watson Conversation API. We can go ahead and change the workspace ID to that of our time card conversation workflow. And go ahead and click apply. Now we have two conversation APIs deployed within Apprenda. We'll create a new app. In this case, it's our time card app. And we'll need to make a modification to our time card app to also include our Watson chat identifier. Now since we have a different alias we also have a different API. So we put in our Watson time API to let Apprenda know that we want to connect to that specific API. Repackage our app save it Now we'll go through the same steps we did on the prior app. Make sure we switch to websites. And then we can enable our Watson chat. We'll promote the app. Now let's launch our time card app. And you'll see just like on our previous app, we've injected a Watson chat bot. It is now communicating with a time card specific Watson chat service. So you can ask it application specific questions and it'll respond accordingly. So you can go ahead and repeat this for as many apps as you'd like and scale them. Uh, all pointing to the same API for that specific application. And this just allows you to ingest and actually utilize your Watson services with very little developer effort.